Uh, this is where we took the bone sample that you saw. Local historian David Rondo has had this site on his radar for years. That's because he's often found debitage here. It's the material produced during the production of stone tools. Recently, he found bone protruding from a bison shoulder. Testing confirmed it's more than 8,000 years old. Which is in itself quite surprising because um, that's about a thousand years older than was previously thought for habitation for our area. So it's, it's quite uh, extravagant. Rondo suspects this hill could have been a bison jump because other stone artifacts and bone material have also been found here. Those dark lines, there are, are uh, they're called paleosols and they're, they're indicative of, of habitation or, um, you know, they're, they're organic remains from habitation. There's a lot of evidence that indicates that this was a large-scale bison processing area. Just from the faunal remains that we found in the area and, and up on surface. Flake here, bone here. Rondo says he believes an ovoid knife found here was likely used to remove hides or flesh from animals. He says this helps to illustrate the evolution of human life in this region. University of Saskatchewan retired professor David Meyer had the bison bone carbon dated. And he agrees the site is very special. The oldest intact uh, uh, occupation, human occupation area that, that has been found in the Prince Albert area. Meyer says the discovery sheds light on the people of Nipawin complex who walked these regions some 8,500 years ago. These people whose artifacts we know is the Nippon complex, they seem to have been the first really widespread, well-established uh, uh, societies, people, hunter-gatherers, of course, in, in the region. When you hold this in your hand, you know, and, and you see where it comes from and, and uh, the evidence is put forward, it makes it real for you. Ronto and Meyer say much more research needs to be done. But they agree this discovery brings a new perspective and will help nearby communities learn more about their past. Pratish Dayal, CBC News, Prince Albert.